Welcome to our new Blinger Slinging with ENJ YouTube channel. I'm Erica, and in this video, I will show you how to make a rhinestone template using the Silhouette Studio Business Edition. I'm using a Mac computer, so let's go ahead and get started. So, what you want to go ahead and do is go to File, click Open. go to your downloads and then make sure you choose the correct file and it will be fight like a girl ribbon heels SVG go ahead and click OK all right so it should come up like this and let me change my mat size to 12 by 12. Okay. So then what you want to go ahead and do, you need the second file. So go to, where you go? Okay, so then you want to go to file then you go to merge then go to the second file that you would need that will be the fight like a girl ribbons bottom SVG and then go ahead and click OK and by you merging it that means you have both files on one mat okay so this right here you can minimize the screen you can make it smaller so you can see it okay okay so once I get that in the silhouette so I have both files so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is Go ahead and click send. Okay, so what I uh, do with all of mine, I make sure I move it down and move it over a little bit. It don't wanna work, but yeah, move it down, move it over a little bit. And then I'm going to make sure that I am on cut. Then I'm doing the drop down to the rhinestone template material. Make sure I do that. I always keep my four set um, 20, the speed seven, but I have two passes. That means basically it's gonna cut twice, okay? So you can go ahead and do a test cut to make sure that the material is cutting right. Or you can um, just go ahead and click send. Okay. You might get this message because half of it, it, it is cut. Just go ahead and click yes. It will cut out, out all the circles, okay? So then once you finish that, you can go back to your design, click design, and then just move that one out the way and bring this one onto the mat and do the same thing for that. Go to sand, make sure it says cut. Sometimes they have to be selected. I don't know, but in order for you to get that cut, you know, it'd be that and then rhinestone 20, then seven passes, and then click send. Again, you might get this error message, you might not, but that is what, just click yes, and then it'll go ahead and feed the machine
with the v-necks I always go about two inches This is the finished product, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and post your questions in the comments. I will post a link to the group and where to purchase the SVG from in the description box below. See you in the next video.